I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a daily drive. Damn it, right hand drive. Twenty seventeen Honda Civic Type R. Again for the third time. Yeah. Why? Because we love it so much. Why else? Okay, we want to show the people what it's like if you actually bought a Type R to live with. Okay, that's fair. And we also want to show an original Type R owner what driving the new Type R is like. Yeah, and he doesn't actually know, so this is kind of a prank slash surprise. A lot of you guys on the internet, you internet trolls there saying, the original Type R is better than this Type R. This one doesn't have that VTEC. And none of you have driven both. None of you own the original Type R. That's right. So, this is the original Type R owner driving the new Type R. Why are you yelling? I don't know. We're not on headsets anymore. We don't have to yell like the old video. All right. I honestly, like, cheer, after cheer, driving cheer. this, I'm telling you, like, I already have a feeling like, uh, you know, I'm not gonna also want to drive my other car. These brakes are real nice. Brembo's. Gosh. See the auto rev match? Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you a pro at downshifting already? Gosh. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for you, Yuri. Eh? <laughs> Yo, I can drive yes. just fine. I can drive just fine. I'm gonna put you in the sport and now comfort. You notice it a lot more on the steering. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. It's so it's so easy to steer now, right? And then like everything else gets kind of leveled out. Oh my gosh. I it's like it's it's kind of Yeah. So like, what do you think of this Type R? Compared to your Type R. Is this a real Type R? This is a real Type R. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, all the way. Do you like the look? The look is real nice, very sharp. Oh man, the steering feeling is so direct. Yeah. Holy crap. As an original Type R owner, would you buy this car? I would 100% buy this car. There you have it. Reserved for David, number 22. I did so many things with this car that I could do with any other car. But everything was just so much better in this one. Dailying the Type R was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It was perfect. Not everybody stared at it, but the people who did stare at it really stared at it. Yeah. We got so many different reactions from so many different people by just driving it in traffic. Yeah. I had a guy stop me, started yelling at me in traffic, telling me that the car looks amazing and asking me if it was all stock. I had two Civics come up to me take pictures and tell me how great my Civic was. And you know what? I made them think it was mine. <laughs> I did. I, I didn't tell anyone I'm a journalist. I'm like, no, this is my Civic. Yeah. I love it. I took this car to a car wash and a guy stopped me. For the first time in my life, I stopped in a car wash and a guy took pictures. He's like, what is it? My buddy, Marky Mark, made me pick him up at two in the morning. We went to the Timmy's at Terry Fox in Mississauga. Shout out Terry Fox Timmy's. And people were stoked. And you know what? The one guy said he put a deposit on it. I was telling him about the arrow. He didn't even know that the hood scoop, down force. Yeah, with the hood scoop, there's even vents that take it down into the fenders, which are also real. Yeah. I've never seen that. When you pop the hood, there's actually gaps that you can see the open fenders. It's the coolest thing. Very cool. I also took this car through my favorite twisties at Cliche Corner over here. Yeah, how was it? It was so good. It hooks like crazy. I took people for rides. They lost their minds. One guy, no one's probably gonna believe me, but he wants a GTR. This threw a wrench into his plan. He wants this first now. Yeah, here's his reaction. Oh snap! <laughs> what? But I can see why you want this first, because this is brand new. Yeah. This is hot stuff. Yeah. GTR is old news. It is. And to prove that, I took it to a meet, parked it beside a GTR. No one even looked at the GTR. Everyone looked at the Type R. Yeah. That guy's gonna be pissed. <laughs> All right, Yuri, do you wanna drive? Honestly, I kind of don't want to drive. What? This car stresses me out. I feel like I kind of drive like a jerk the whole time. Yeah, you do. Like, it's so cool. You need to drive fast, and I, I don't want to, like, get a speeding ticket. I've never, see I've never seen you so stressed out and rattled after driving a car before. Because it's, it's, you got to put a lot of work into keeping up the Type R brand, right? Yeah. So. It's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. <laughs> you do get overwhelmed a bit. I got overwhelmed. I'll continue driving it happily. Yeah, just keep driving it, it's fine. The transmission is the best I've ever used in any car, ever. I'll pretty much agree with that. Yeah, it's so good. Like you just want to bang gears in it all day. Just 
Six, five, four, three, two. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it stresses me out to drive. <laughs> it's so good. When I showed people how the auto rev match system worked, they lost their friggin' minds. The best way to show people is to put it in sixth at a low speed, put the clutch in, and just go five, four, three, two. Yeah. And it's just like that. No one believes it until they see it. Wild. I can't say enough about the auto rev match system, but we did take it off, and heel and toe is so good in this car. It is good. That was money. It wasn't. Dude, I landed right there. It didn't. Why did we shake? It didn't shake. Yeah, we did. It's so easy. But I turned it off, turned it back on within five minutes. I just want to enjoy the auto rev matching. I fully get that. E-brake. E-brake is electronic. It took me a minute to kind of figure out exactly how it worked, but what's nice is that you can just drive right through it. Yep, you don't have to turn it off. The car will just let you go. If you have your seatbelt on, if you don't, it doesn't turn it off. And it talks to you. Yeah, like an 80s car, which is kind of cool. It's kind of Night Rider. Yeah. It says some shit, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything, dude. Please release the parking brake. I forgot. Doesn't say anything, dude? Everyone knows this has 306 horsepower, but it pulls so strong. Yes. I even took an STI owner and he said this out pulls his car no problem. And it, and it pulls so much harder after like five and a half, six thousand RPM. VTEC, bro. So you need to always just be ripping it and that's why it's a stressful car. You do always have to drive this car very hard. But in a good way. It's like the little devil on your shoulder just constantly telling you, just, just do it, man. Just, just yeah, do it. Yeah, on both shoulders. Yeah, exactly. Our buddy Sherry mentioned that the shifter gets really hot. It does. It can actually burn the pattern into your hand if you're not careful on a hot day. Just slightly. And it's really cold in the morning too. I don't know, it looks cool. Functional wise, I'm not too sure. Should we do the test? Yeah, yeah, do the test. Forgot about Ready? that. Ready? Three, Three, two, two one. one. Yeah! Yes. On that. The seats are super comfortable. Yeah, people I, complain about getting in and out, but when they're in there, they're like, oh, it's so comfortable. And then they get out, they're like, oh, it takes a lot of work to get out of that car, eh? Yeah, no one cares. No one cares. Yeah, they're so good. Just get in the seat, yeah. shut up. We also box tested the car, and here's what happened. Oh, yo, I think we can get another layer up there. Slide that over. Nine. No, there's room. Get a tenth. Get two more. Uh -oh. No, that closes. That works. Yes. Eleven boxes. That's insane. I think that's a new record for a hatchback for us. Brake hold. Yeah, that works so well. It's convenient. Yeah, you don't roll back in traffic, it just holds it for you. Right turn signal turns on this little camera. Camera's super cool, kind of weird. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to, but it's nice. Yep. Uh, no blind spot monitoring with the little beeps on the... Ears. I don't really care, but... I, I've gotten used to it and I kind of like it, but I'm okay that doesn't have it. Doesn't have heated or cooled seats. No. Because race car. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part about daily driving it is that I don't see the wing in the rearview mirror like an STI or something like that. It's my favorite, but least favorite. It's my favorite because I can still turn around and see it and still be reminded it's there. Yeah, but I like seeing the wing in the rear view. Fair enough. Uh, oh, the auto rev match is so good. Placing my cell phone in the cell phone compartment. Yep. Very convenient, the cables come down nicely. Except wireless charging for Android only. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So good. Cup holders are great. So, there's two cup holders that slide back and forth, and then there's room for another cup holder at the bottom. So I had two small cups and a tall smoothie cup all fit in there at once. And when I was shifting, I had my elbow on this part, and it wasn't interfering with the cups at all. Big gulps, eh? Big gulps. Well, see you later. And it's a four-seater. We got rid of the middle seat in the back. People complained, but they're wrong. Yeah, because nice Type R. Yeah. Obviously. The reverse camera is nice. Uh, there's no sensors beeping when you back up. No. Nope. But that's fine. That adds extra weight. But I would like it. But there's actually indents in the plastic for backup sensors that were... Where did you learn that? Uh, by looking at it. Doug DeMauro. That's where Doug. he went. Doug. Yo, Doug commented on our video, so we're actually famous now. Yeah, yeah. Look at the last video. Look at under the first comment, Doug DeMauro. Doug DeMauro. I noticed you're in sport mode. Which is the default mode. I was always in plus R mode. I like the heavier steering and stiffer suspension. Yeah, it's so good. But... I did like comfort mode in the morning when I just didn't care about anything. The steering was so soft, I didn't like it one bit. It's very soft. Like, you can actually, here, I'll put it in comfort right now. One finger. Now, same thing in R. Plus R. Oh, it hurts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about the mode selection is if I push the button twice to get from comfort to plus R, 
there's a very slight delay. You can't push it twice and it'll get there eventually. You need to push it, wait, and then push it again. Because it has to adjust everything around. Yeah, but I'm saying a computer can understand that you click twice to adjust twice when you can. Yeah, but there's valving and stuff in the suspension that's yeah, different than a computer. The computer can say switch now and then switch the other one when it's ready. Yeah, but then it won't be ready because it has to have a little delay. What I'm saying is I push it twice and it'll eventually get to that mode. Yes. I can push it, if I push, right now we're plus R. If I push down twice, it won't be in comfort. Correct. You have to wait a little bit. Yeah, but I'm saying the computer can take my two plus, the computer can take my two press input, change it, and then change it again when it's time to change it again. It's fine. It's not fine. Not issue. Biggest issue. I would not buy it for that one issue. You would buy this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Exhaust. My biggest complaint. It's way too quiet, but I rolled down the windows and all I heard was turbo. It was the coolest thing ever and I don't mind it and I actually really like it now. I really like the sound of the exhaust. When you're flying, it's loud enough that you can hear it, but it's not too obnoxious that you can't live with it every day. Yeah, it's just very quiet. When you're driving in the middle of the night, yeah, man, you can hear it. Okay, that's one problem. So yes, you always want to rip it in this car, but you're going to get a lot of tickets because of how loud it looks. You look like you're always racing. Always. Yeah, maybe. Even when I'm parked, it looks like it's racing. Would you daily it? Is there anything wrong with dailying this Type R? There's nothing wrong with dailying this car at all. The only thing that's wrong with me is that I feel like I've got to uphold the Type R badge and pretty much kind of drive a little too aggressively. <laughs> it stresses me out a bit. So I guess that's everything about daily driving a Type R. Yeah, it's perfect for daily driving. It's such a good car. Buy a Type R, don't resell it for a higher markup. Yeah. Don't be a jerk like that. All right, Straight Pipers, that's the video. Subscribe, like, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Comment. Comment. Everything. Thumbs up, thumbs down, bell. Hit it all. Yeah. Except the dislike button. And Reddit, especially Reddit. We love our cars. We love our cars. And we just... I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. Don't forget to subscribe.